Hit it. We're at TPS Motorsports. We're with the owner, Mike Mack. So if you want to go fast, you want to make some power, and you're in California, you know, this is the place to be. So my brother wanted to offer you 5k for that. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? You're probably wondering, what in the world am I doing down here, right? Well, let me tell you, today's an exciting day. I'm finally getting a new exhaust installed. Now, if any of you are wondering, you've got a Corvette, why, why would you need a new exhaust? Well, these Corvettes, they kind of sound like a Honda Civic. They have no balls. The exhaust sounds really low and I can hardly hear it, so it's time to upgrade. As a matter of fact, why don't you hear this for yourself? <laughs> you hear that? You can hardly hear it. It sounds like a Honda Civic. Time to upgrade. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. So, for those of you who are not familiar with the C7, this exhaust uh, is the NPP exhaust. What it is, it's a variable exhaust. I can actually change the tone of the exhaust. I can make it really quiet like this, or I can make it really loud and aggressive. Watch. Hit the gas, bro. <laughs> are under the Golden Gate Bridge and we're gonna do a quick uh, sound volume test. We're gonna see how loud in decibels the exhaust actually hits. Now this is the stock exhaust wide open. test I'm gonna do is the decibel level of the inside of the cabin of the car while I'm on the highway 65 70 miles an hour let's see what we're at what is that 80 decibels okay not very loud of course this is the stock exhaust so I've, there's no drone whatsoever I can hear the exhaust when I'm revving it 
Um, but otherwise, it's pretty quiet in here. We're going to come back and do the same test when the, the new AWE exhaust is installed. I should also mention that most of the noise that we're hearing, hearing right now that this is picking up, uh, this is just a road noise. The tires, the road, the insulation of the car. It's a Corvette. They are louder than other vehicles, um, but still a fun drive. Your destination is on the left. We are here, we made it. We're at TPS Motorsports. We're with the owner, Mike Mack. Mike, you want to tell the audience uh, a little bit about what you do here and um, I don't know, a quick intro? Sure, TPS Motorsports has been in the domestic performance industry for over 14 years. And uh, what we're doing today is, actually what we're doing here is, this is our installation center. It's, uh, it's in a 10,000 square foot facility. Uh, it's also next to our uh, warehouse for our mail order uh, department. Um, so we do a lot of installations here. We work on Corvettes, Mustangs, um, Camaros. I mean, if it's domestic performance, you know, that's, that's what we do here. So if you want to go fast, you want to make some power, you know, and, and you're in uh, California, you know, this is the place to be. All right, so tell us a little bit about the AWE exhaust. I know that there was confusion. I thought that it was going to retain the MPP variable exhaust, but it turns out it's not. It is something I wanted, but Oh well, I'll sacrifice because he says that this thing's gonna sound badass. So, what, what can you tell us about the AWE? So, AWE exhausts are made in the United States in, uh, in Pennsylvania and uh, just out of Philadelphia, outside of Philadelphia. They are 100% made in the USA, lifetime warranty, made of 304 stainless steel. Uh, one of the reasons why AWE and many manufacturers these days do not incorporate the NPP exhaust from the C7 is they actually are, tend to fail. So what's happening is those valves fail and then customers come back and you know, they're, they're not happy that their NPP exhaust isn't working properly. And that's, that's one reason why many manufacturers, in, in fact we have a boral exhaust on the other side that uh, uh, has had some issues because of the NPP hasn't worked properly. So, so I think you'll be really happy with the way the um, AWE sounds. As long as I get those extra hundred horsepower, we can. <laughs> <be good. laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to put a blower on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, hey. All thank right. You. Let's get this show started. All so, right. So who are the folks working on? So my brother wanted to offer you 5k for that. <laughs> Look at the difference in the size of the muffler. Stock and AWE. So 
why do you do it that way? The front's too low. You gotta jack it up so you can get the arms underneath the front of the vehicle. That sounds way different. So Mike, I had one uh, one question for you. I, I took the vet to the dealership for just some maintenance and they told me that my clutch fluid and brake fluid had uh, water or condensation in it. And I felt like they're just trying to take me to the cleaners. Is, is that accurate? Is that something that someone can expect out of a Corvette Grand Sport? No, it's pretty accurate because um, the way the clutch system designed, it, it, it leads to condensation getting in. And you know, like when you have the caps, even for the brake fluid, uh -huh. they're not 100% tight. So, so you do get a little bit of moisture getting in. Gotcha. So it's not moisture just on the cap, it's actually getting into the liquid? Getting into the liquid. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you guys replaced it for me. The new exhaust sounds badass, man. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for all the work. No I appreciate you, bro. No problem. And uh, we're gonna do some rolling shots now. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so yeah, any guy, anything you guys need, this guy's the man, he can do it, he can take care of you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, you guys, we're here at TPS Motorsports. We've got the AWE exhaust installed in the vet, and we're gonna give you some uh, audio notes of what this exhaust sounds like. We're gonna do a rev. Um, 2,000, 3,000, 4, 5, up to 6, and we're gonna measure the decibels and see what this sounds like for you. Go for it. Cold start. Seven, I believe. Go to four. There you guys go. That sounds amazing. At 6,000 RPMs, this hit 121 decibels. So pretty darn loud, if you ask me. It sounds really good. It sounds very, it's got that growl to it. It's, it's, it's got a very deep sounding bass to it, which I really like. All right, the last test of the day, what the sound level is gonna be inside the cabin on the highway. We're at 79. Let's give it some gas. 83, 84. I don't believe that's much different. The car sounds just the same as it did before, which is exactly what I wanted. I hear no drone. I hear no, nothing that's annoying me. The car sounds great. Love the exhaust. Thanks again. TPS Motorsports. We'll see you guys next time. We all want a really loud exhaust. We want the exhaust to rumble. We want it to gurgle. We want to make a presence everywhere we drive. The only problem is when we get home. 
Some of us, our wives, our girlfriends, our roommates, our parents, they don't appreciate the loud rumble as much as we do. Now mind you, right now the car is just idling. Imagine how loud it is when I'm giving gas or if I'm, you know, pulling into the garage. Hit it. <laughs> oh man, I could just see myself doing that to my brother while he's sleeping. I say this is loud, I meant it's loud. 